Static Motion Blur is an option that was added in Trimotion 2025.2, this preview version, and what will allow us is that when we drag and drop any of this element into the viewport and we select an object to apply the effect, it will simulate movement by this type of motion blur. It's important to understand that this is only useful for static images where we want to simulate movement. Uh, I mean, uh, the movement, the animation is not happening, we are only simulated in by using a blur, a motion blur. So for this, we ideally need static objects. The one I have, the ones I have here, these two characters, are from this character section, post humans, and somebody here from the summer section, this Ethan and the other guy around. So these elements that I have added will now be affected by the linear blur. But how can we do this? We need to click here on this option and then select the elements we want to have this motion blur. As you see now, we can also press Ctrl C, select any of these elements and drop it inside the parent element called linear blur. And that way it will be added to the elements that are affected by it. We can also here select this other guy and now we have both of them being affected by it. The settings that we have are very simple. If we click here, we can unlink the element and now this guy is not affected by the linear blur. And we can also move the parent using this icon. Why it is so important? Because if we click on it, we can now move this arrow without moving the objects that are linked to it. Because if we disable it and we now move this, we are going to move also all the child elements that are linked to the parent linear blur. Okay, so if you need to move it, you need to make sure to select this move parent first. Once you are have it all set, then you can go to the main settings. The, in here, what we will do is only use these three options for now. To enable or disable it and to set the intensity of the effect. I mean, if someone is moving much faster, then the intensity will be much stronger. And it's, it's just a subtle movement, then probably it will be only a bit blurry. Probably, since these are people working, walking, the intensity will be very small, something like this. And we can also apply this to other elements. We can, for instance, create a new static motion blur element. And let's now put it here. And uh, instead of adding it to the, to the people we have in here, I'm going to remove this linear blur for a bit. I'm going to add it to the car. So I select here the car. And we have the car placeholder here. I think we need to select the 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 wheels too. We have it here now. And if the car is moving really fast, then we, it will be really useful to add the effect very strong, like we have it here. And maybe we can add it uh, two for the for the two cards we have here. So this is a simulation that we're taking a picture from here. These two people is passing by and the car is going by very fast behind the two characters. But there are other things that we can keep in mind when using this effect. I'm going to remove for a, for a minute these two characters over here to focus on the car. So there's a third button that we can use called invert. What this will do is exactly that invert the effect now the background is blurry and the car is completely static this is a style of photograph that can be done by panning the camera along the movement of the card to recreate this effect in real life but we can do this here with just a single click and with the intensity element we are controlling exactly the same how much blur is added to the background of the image not to the object but to the background which can give us a very interesting effect where we can focus here in a product advertisement maybe in the car and make this background to make it feel like the car is moving really fast but what about if what we want is make the wheel simulate the, the wheels uh, uh, movement if we want to simulate this wheel movement i'm going to deactivate this 
linear blur for a second and we can use the circular blur okay so I rotate this to match the wheel axis and I position it here in, in, in approximately the middle of the wheel let me see I, I have two, one, two here and I add this wheel to the effect and here we have it maybe the axis is not completely perfectly position it well, let's leave it around here for now but as you can see it's simulating the effect that this is wheel is spinning we can reduce the intensity so it's not so powerful but here we have it and this is the other way in we can create motion blur but in a circular way and both of them will be very effective to what we are trying to achieve if you want to know about the new tune motion features you can see the next video to watch them all